Gaza's health ministry says nine Palestinians have been killed in Israeli airstrikes on the territory. The strikes came after Hamas militants fired rockets from Gaza towards Jerusalem, after hundreds of Palestinians were injured in clashes at a Muslim holy site. Fighting broke out earlier inside Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque, with police firing stun grenades and tear gas at Palestinian demonstrators. And a march planned by the ultra-nationalist Israelis through the streets of Jerusalem was cancelled. The violence follows days of protests over plans to evict Palestinians from East Jerusalem. Straight to Jerusalem then, uh, and we'll join DW correspondent Tanya Kramer. Uh, welcome, Tanya. Let's start with those uh, rockets. What happened? Well, it was a very eventful uh, day today, which uh, started actually in the morning already when we saw, you know, serious confrontations uh, on the Haram al-Sharif, or what is also known as a Temple Mount, and very traumatic pictures inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And then uh, we saw during the course of the day uh, the contentious march, first being uh, uh, of Jerusalem Day, when nationalist Israelis uh, uh, would be walking uh, through uh, the uh, Damascus Gate and the Muslim uh, quarter in the old city, which is seen as a provocation, a deliberate provocation by Palestinians. It was first rerouted by the government and then it was cancelled in protest of this uh, decision by uh, the organizers. And then at uh, 6 uh, p.m. local time here, air sirens went off in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, a warning of incoming uh, incoming rockets. Uh, Hamas had earlier issued uh, some sort of ultimatum as a response to what happened uh, at uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque, uh, uh, saying that Israel should withdraw uh, their forces, the police, from uh, the Haram al-Sharif and also from the area of Sheikh Jarrah. This is the area where the um, uh, four families are under threat of eviction. And of course, since then, we are seeing now uh, further rocket attacks in the south from Gaza to the south, but also, of course, air raids by Israel and attacks on Gaza. And what have the Israeli authorities said about the, the air raids that they have launched? Well, it's it's expected, uh, you know, especially, I mean, it's very rare uh, that um, uh, Jerusalem, that you would hear the air sirens here, even during uh, the war. So this was a warning shot uh, by Hamas. And, uh, of course, uh, it's expected that there will be a harsh, and, and there is already a harsh response uh, on Gaza now. How uh, this will go on from there, uh, that is uh, still to see. But it's definitely a major escalation. Uh, but also in Jerusalem, uh, we are seeing, I mean, I'm standing here in East Jerusalem and uh, there are also protests still uh, going on uh, here, especially in uh, Sheikh Jarrah. Um, uh, this is, uh, you know, the tensions are, are still there. And you mentioned the, um, the, this court ruling. So we have uh, Palestinian uh, families who are uh, appealing, who are looking for a court decision against their eviction. Um, that court ruling was put back. Uh, just uh, outline what happened for us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this, uh, the High Court of Justice uh, should have met today. There was a hearing that was already postponed from last week. Um, potentially make a decision on the uh, pending eviction. Uh, so the attorney general, general got involved and he will uh, potentially weigh in on this case. So the hearing was postponed. Uh, there will be new de dates set within uh, the next uh, 30 days. That means the, the uh, families, uh, four families we are talking here, um, can for now stay in their homes. But it doesn't uh, cancel the previous uh, ruling of a lower court, the district court here, which had authorized uh, the eviction. And that goes back to a lengthy court battle with a Jewish settler organization uh, uh, which uh, claims the land. So, um, you know, some people have said this was actually to ease the tensions, but we can clearly see uh, that uh, this is not the case and it only postponed this very uh, controversial decision. Tanya Kramer in Jerusalem. Thank you so much.